You're not convincing me by telling me that people like Majid Nawaz are alt-right. That yeah. is fucking nonsense. Right, totally. That's so dumb. <laughs> it's so crazy it's to absolutely. call him alt-right yeah. and to call Tim Pool alt-right as well. Yeah. Tim is, if anything, he's a centrist. Yeah. He's, he's just a guy who, he's a fucking, he was like an on the boot, a boots on the ground journalist for Vice. Yeah, yeah, he, he was like all up in Occupy. Yeah. He was an Occupy Wall Street guy. Yeah, yeah. He, he was like right there. I know Tim very well. He's not alt right at all, but no. he'll entertain a conversation with anybody. He will. He, like he had, um, okay, he had O'Keefe from Project Veritas on the other day. Yeah, and that's like that. That guy's the boogeyman to oh, the no. left. Yeah. You can't like even if what he's saying is a fucking threat, he's exposing threats to democracy. Yeah, he's exposing real live corruption. He's exposing real live conspiracies. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, no, but it's Veritas. But like, it's Veritas, yeah. They've somehow or another decided that an individual can be like you could – it's almost like a cure to the reality of whatever he's exposing. Like you could say, oh, it doesn't matter because it's James O'Keefe. And you can yeah. put that on top of the thing and it all goes away. Yeah, exactly. It's wild. It's, it's extremely wild. I mean that's the – I mean that's, again, your show, Blue Open Mass Formation Psychosis. Well, that's not right. a thing. Don't you know that's not even a well, thing? Well, yeah, I saw that. It's, it's not, not even a real thing. I mean, thing. there's books like back to the 1800s about it, but it's, but it's not, not a thing. thing. But it's not real. It's not it's real. It's not real. It's fake. Well, I've talk there's a certain psychologist that went to a college, and he told me it's not a thing. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. Th I, you know. It's f for sure, whatever you want to call it. Like something's going on where yes. people get to feel morally superior, whether yes. they're, they're execs at Instagram who are going to knock down or interns or whoever knocks down that account. Yeah. And they get to be mor morally superior or... You know, look at this drop Veritas just did. Like, I don't know if that thing that they just did with the COVID is, like, panned out or not. But if it did, that's, like, somebody should probably be looking into that, you know? What's fascinating is how it is completely 100% ignored by the left-wing media. It's like it doesn't Fox exist. is the only people covering it. And how much is, is Fox covering it quite a bit? I, I, know don't, I don't watch TV, so I don't know. Tucker's talked about it. Tucker's talked about it. But if you look on left-wing media... Rachel Maddow and oh, all, it doesn't uh, exist. It doesn't exist. It, it's it's not it, you even if you think it's a lie, you have to cover it. It's a significant issue. We need to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Are these documents true? Are they correct? Yeah, exactly. Is 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 it true that this leaked according to the document that this leaked COVID nineteen? It leaked actually not in November, December, whatever it was, but in August. Is yes. it true that it was created and there's, there are these patents? Is it true that they knew that hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin and the other things you're not allowed to say anywhere could work as curatives? Because that's in – I don't know all the facts. I don't even claim to, but I know that's in the document. I read the document. Not only that, this concerted effort by a group of these people, Francis Collins and Fauci and all these people, to try to demonize these – Distinguished intellectuals, the Great Barrington, from, yeah, yeah, Oxford, Harvard, lots I mean, so, of lots of lunatic extremists there, right? Guys who were experts in their field, total fringe guys. Oxford, who's ever heard of that crap it's, hole? It's so strange. And meanwhile, left wing media ignores, ignore, yeah. ignore, 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 didn't ignore. happen, didn't happen. Absolutely, like, it's didn't so happen. the only people that you can trust that are left wing are the independent people. And that's why it's so strange. It's the strangest time ever. It really is. It's um, wonderful for independent people. Yes. Because for people like Crystal and Sagar from Breaking Points, it's opening the door. For people like The Hill, like Kim Iverson, it's yeah. opening the door for people to expose these things. Yeah. So you get a chance to see these independent people rise. And then more people go, hey, you've got to listen to this lady talk about this. She explains it in very rational, factual terms. Like, yeah. And now, now people will pay attention to Kim Iverson. Now people pay attention yeah. to Crystal and Saga.